end, right? Good ride, good ride. Doctor said I couldn't ride my motorcycle. He didn't say anything about a scooter! Woo! Take that, doctor! Back on two wheels, baby, killing it. Eight horsepower, 25 miles an hour. Man, it's cold, man. Damn, it's cold. But I'm doing pretty good. I can walk. I can almost touch my feet, and that's, that's a fucking, that's a feat right there, to be able to touch my feet. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here all day. So, I'm out at my buddy's shop at Adrenalix, and uh, he's helped me ship some packages I sold on eBay, and I thought I'd take his little scooter for a ride and give y'all a scooter vlog and possibly piss off Fire Girl 24 and say fuck you to the doctor. Fuck you doctor, but thanks for helping me. So yeah, my buddy uh, runs a shop called Adrenalix and they wanted me to talk about it, which is odd because he's usually like, hey, uh, don't talk about my shop. So I'm like, all right. But, um. What he does is he buys, I've talked about this before, he buys salvage bikes sometimes, but mostly insurance auction bikes, you know, maybe it's got some scratches on the bearings and the insurance just paid it off instead of totaling it and just, you know, took it. But um, he also does like uh, repo stuff from the banks. And uh, he reconditions the bikes back to new, buys all the shit off of eBay. Uh, basically, like all the stock exhaust systems that everybody sells for next to nothing, he, sna he snatches them up and puts them on these bikes. And uh, he's got a good painter and everything, and uh, good deals through all the OEMs. And puts the bikes back together like stock and sells them. Uh, he doesn't really deal with the public usually. If someone's real serious about getting a bike here in the Dallas area and you're not gonna jack me around I can possibly hook you up with this guy and get you a, a pretty damn good deal the reason he doesn't deal with the public is because as you know the public are a bunch of fucks so he just buys them from the auction fixes them and takes them back to the auction he basically buys them at a wrecked wholesale price and sells them at a new wholesale price so it's easier to him to do that than just deal with all these jackass people that just want to come over and kick tires and jack their freaking jaw about how they're going to get financing and come back or their mommy or daddy are going to buy it for them if you got serious money and you're looking for a good bike let me know i can hook y'all up um he just doesn't want a bunch of people calling him and wasting his freaking time he's got shit to do you know He's got like 30 bikes a month to build. He doesn't need to be talking to Joe Blow asshole who wants to get his first R6 and his mommy and daddy are gonna pay for it and he just wants to come look at it and sit on it twice a day. Fuck that. It's not what Adrenalix does. But anyway, he's got a website. I don't know if there's much on there, but it's adrenalix.net and uh, just contact me. Don't bother him. He's a cool guy. And uh, I don't think he wants to uh, spend a whole lot of time talking about uh, motorcycles and what's better, a R6 or a TS6R. So, just talk to me about that. Now that's the evil poison right there. Oh yeah. Ah, we're fuel injected now. Like 
10 horsepower. You gotta take things in stages, you know? This one probably has a better horn, too. Yeah. More power. Oh, the fucking speedometer's broke. I can't even tell how fast I'm going. Can't even feel my knees in the breeze, you know? Hey, I'm doing 55. Woo! -hoo! I can't drive 55. I, fuck, I can only drive zero. Bullshit on a stick. Renegade scooter in. What if I could fuck up his yard if he beat this? Oh, oh. Hey, that's from fire guy. Oh, sorry about that. All the power got carried away. Oh. Woo! I'm feeling it! What's next? How many cc's we got? 200? This is my limit. This has got to be my limit, you know, for my rehabilitation process. 200 cc's is all I can get. I feel the 200 cc rumble. I gotta say, it's promising. Whoa, look at all that power coming out of there. Yeah, it's all oil. Whoop. I could probably shove my thumb in there and stall the bike. All right, we're thumping. Thump, 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 thump. Just grabbing gears, 200 cc's. It's getting away from me. Ah, 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 ah. Let's go break some real laws on this one. I mean, it's a dealer bike, it's not like it has a plate on it. <laughs> There's too much mud in that off-road adventure. You know, it's one thing for the guy to let me ride his bikes, so they've been sitting so long. It's another thing to bring him back dripping with mud. What's up? I don't know, I just came by to talk to someone. I'm lonely, you know. Oh, really? Mm. This is my first motorcycle ride after back surgery. I'm pretty excited. Oh, wow. Yeah, look, look. Oh, my God. oh look, look. Oh, Iron Man, right here. Are you just go no, I'm not even going to go through. I'm yeah, I'm a troublemaker. You don't want me back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Rep. Rep. Woo! 60 miles an hour. Hey, if you're first watching this video and I just uploaded it, this doesn't apply to you. But look right down there, right down there, for a hooligan lover. Yeah, that's her name. Hooligan lover. I'm sure she will have some choice words to say to me about this short motorcycle adventure. Uh, I rode a 200cc, I rode a 150, and I rode a 50. So, I mean, I rode a 400cc bike today, basically. I mean, if you add it all up. That's, that's not too bad, if you think about it. And I moved up, you know, because you gotta work your way up. I mean, I feel this is my limit, because I could get in a lot of trouble on this. I could possibly wheelie it. I could possibly get both wheels off the ground at the same time. And I know that that's, that's probably bad. So, uh, we're not going to do that. Because I'm a, I'm a good man. And I want to heal. Through the dirt. Rebel. Somebody rode it through the dirt. You mean you did. Why has it got to be me? So... About done with my scooter ride. 
Go back to the shop in the undisclosed location in the secret underground lair. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. I'm doing all right. And thanks for all the support through the surgery. I, I really appreciate it. And another quick message. If you want to talk to me, don't message me through YouTube. I don't like YouTube messaging. Message me on my Facebook fan page. Thank you very much. Fire Guy 24. Peace out.